All right, let's talk Tesla. In the latest edition of Bloomberg Business Week, four different Bloomberg News reporters took a deep dive look at Tesla's production of the Model 3 in all its grit and glory. In his quest for the car maker to produce 5,000 Model 3 sedans a week, Elon Musk has turned to robots, firing contractors, and now a very big tent. Tom Randall, our Bloomberg News senior reporter covering the future of transport, had access to 20 of Tesla's engineers, including CEO Elon Musk. He joins us from New York, as well as Josh Idelson, Bloomberg's label reporter, got key insights on the difficult conditions faced by Tesla workers. He's with me here on set in San Francisco. Tom, I want to start with you. You spoke to Elon Musk. He told you that at one point he wore the same clothes five days in a row. What other insights did you hear from him? Well, look, if you've been watching Tesla for the last year, you know that this is a company that has been having a really hard time as they try to like grow from making 100,000 cars a year to 500,000 cars a year. And, you know, Elon, Elon told me that this, this was an existential crisis point for the company, that he had bet the company on the Model 3. He said that he's bet the company now three times, first with its original Roadster, uh, then with the Model S. He said he didn't bet the company with the Model X, that they could have survived with that, and then he bet the, mo the company with the Model 3. And he said this will be the last time that the company has to bet the, you know, put it all on the line. Um, and so what what we decided to do as a, uh, with Business Week is to rally all of our resources because, you know, this is a very uh, polarizing company so much so that it can be very difficult at some times to, to get a beat on exactly where they stand. So we wanted to kind of figure out what exactly was was going on with them. And I think what we came away with it was a company that is trying to grow up um, and it's having a lot of growing pains in, in that process. Let's talk about some of the growing pains, Josh, mm -hmm. because Tesla has faced allegations for years about its working conditions and that the conditions there are more unsafe than other car manufacturers, for example, and you uncovered some pretty horrifying examples. Talk to us about what workers told you. One of the incidents we wrote about took place in late 2016. There was an injury with a forklift that OSHA had described as an ankle fracture, but we found out that in the investigation, OSHA had not interviewed the actual injured employee and that according to people who spoke to him and photos that we saw. In fact, his leg was amputated after this forklift accident. Tes so lots of problems there, not the least of which is a government organization not following up with the actual victim of the accident, correct? Uh, Tesla says that they tried to make this person available and the agency says that they made efforts to reach him, but certainly it raises eyebrows to see that someone involved in such a serious injury, allegedly, and someone, the person who personally suffered it, was not interviewed as part of the investigation. So, you know, Tesla has pushed back on this story, and, you know, they say, um, you know, to, to you, you know, nothing is more important to us than the safety of our employees. This is not to say that there aren't real issues that need to be dealt with at Tesla or that we've made no mistakes with any of the 40,000 people who work at our company. With each passing month, we improve safety further and we'll keep doing so until we have the safest factory in the world by far. Tom, you know, how do you sort of reconcile a company that's just growing up with some, you know, really disturbing stories like this one? Well, you know, First of all, automaking is a very difficult uh, and sometimes dangerous process. Um, you know, four people died last year at various auto companies across the United States, and you know, I think Tesla's Tesla says that they are working very hard and take take uh, safety very seriously. And they point out that uh, during the Model 3 production, their um, their safety statistics have actually improved significantly. That they're now um, below the industry average on on incident rate. You know, and I and, and I think it's all again a sign of of you know mistakes the company has made and and how it's trying to course correct. You know, in, in, at a time when it doesn't have very much time to do that. You know, I think. It, from my reporting standpoint, from talking to all of the engineers, I think a lot of the problems that Tesla has had can be traced back to some of the decisions that Elon has made, um, including the empowerment of his engineers. Um, he has, you know, it's it's kind of a double-edged sword that that Tesla's engineers are. They'll take a they'll take a look at a thing like on the Model Three. They decided to redesign the entire HVAC system. You know, the heating and air conditioning. Um, you know, and for a company who
who's just trying to uh, become a mass manufacturer for the first time, like, do you really need to be design re reinventing the the air conditioner? But you know, at the same time, they created this uh, this new experience where you've got a vent that crosses the whole panel front of the car, and uh, okay. And, and you know, it's, it's both causing their problems and uh, what people love about it.